Vanderbilt has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Catches it, and that's all. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. That makes it second and ten. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at around the 48-yard line. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That makes it first and ten. Easy, easy. easy. He might have a chance. He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Tigers. And he tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Vanderbilt's offense, a lot of times they can spread things out and they can really be versatile offensively, but when you've got a wide receiver like this, it really helps the coach. Well, it does, and it, and it continues to help with what they're trying to do. They're trying to find matchups, and when you have one player like this that the defense has got to be aware of, they're going to spread you out, try to find the one-on-one -on -one matchup, and if you spend too much time with this one player, they've got some other weapons to make you pay for it. First down. From their own 30-yard line, it's first down. Out of bounds around the 34-yard line. That's a D4. That brings him second and five. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Ready. Red 68. Just throws this one away. From their own 34-yard line. Third down. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 28. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Missouri is up seven. Makes the first down catch. Tackle made at the 42 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. And he tackles him hard at the 48. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Green, nine. Green. Go, 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 go. Nice 
nice run there. That'll make it third and 13. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 43. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. Mike 8. Mike 8. Ready. 395. They'll bring him down at the 46 yard line. That's a team of three on the play. That makes it second and six. He fights forward to about the 46. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. And that will make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Missouri's making a bid for an upset here today, Herbie, but do they really have it in them, do you think? Brad, it's been a, it's a great start by this team, but I just can't see them holding up for four quarters. I think eventually you'll see the better team emerge. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Missouri up seven points. Catches in and hit immediately for a loss. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 16. There's a strike complete, and he's leveled at the 24. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Gets it out to him again, and he hits him hard at the 38-yard line. down at about the 49. four-yard line so it's complete but they didn't get much there and that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked the quarterback should have found somebody else downfield slings it he's tackled at about the 11. It's 
So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Missouri is up by a touchdown. That's going to do it for the first quarter. We got a good one so far. 7 0, Missouri. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Roger, Roger. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Don't get nervous. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That makes it second and 14. It's the ninth play of the drive. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he's taken down right around the 10-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Big hit there to stop it. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's tackled at the 22-yard line. Just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield. Boy, what great play recognition by this linebacker. He saw the run was coming, and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle. From their own 22-yard line, second down. He scrambled. Tackle around the 22-yard line. No good in the play. That'll make it third and 13. Him out around the 36 yard line. That's good for a First and 10. Ball on their own 36. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. That's good for a game of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike eight, Mike eight. Red! Red 18! Red 18! Throws in the middle. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's a loss of about three. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. From their own 46-yard line, second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Fires quick. He's got another one. And they make the stop at the 42. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things change in a big way before halftime. Makes his way to about the 32. Just 
throws this one away. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. He's scrambling, and he's sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Boy, the defensive coordinator in the defense has to be very proud of their efforts and what they've been able to do to rattle this quarterback. He's really struggled on this drive. Now here they are facing a fourth down. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 32. The Vanderbilt's offense is so predicated on what this wide receiver does. And now when you consider that we've got a couple of quarters left, they've got to change the complexion of the game a little bit. They're going to have to do it with somebody else, I think. This is really where a coaching staff gets challenged because for five or six days, you prep. And you look at a lot of film, and you kind of come into a game by the time Saturday rolls around. And you have a good idea of how you want to attack the defense. And then you go out there, and it's not working. So you have to show an ability as a coaching staff to go back and look at the drawing board and eliminate some things and maybe add some things and be able to try to make the adjustments you need to to give your team a chance to win in the second half. He chucks it downfield. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. You think you gonna get this, boy? You think you gonna get this? Let's go! He goes out of bounds, right around the 14-yard line. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. Well, the receiver does a nice job on his route, and how about the throw by the quarterback? Perfect execution. And when those two things are going well, the offense has a good chance of picking up big yards. Finds his receiver, touchdown. saw something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play calling there very impressive where was the coverage there there wasn't anybody near him at all here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game and he hits the PAT so a four play 68 yard drive and they come away with seven points so the score now 10-7 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22. A oh, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style game plan. I think if I were the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Missouri is up by three. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. First and 10, ball on the 35 yard line. Scrambling around. Tackle made at the 38. They need to do a better job of managing the clock here. You're right, Fred. Not only was that a horrible play in terms of yards picked up, but also, as you mentioned, in terms of all the time that may be wasted. He's going to try and scramble. And he is drilled at the 47-yard line. Well, this is a nice run for the first down by this quarterback. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Kill, kill, kill! Check 26, check 26. That brings him second and quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Now 
he's scrambling. He's taken down at the 44. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Mike, three, six, no chance. Red two, blue four, blue four. We played a half. Missouri leads 10 7. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. We've been looking forward to this game all week and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half and boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. Well, you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreet and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. From his own goal line, he's tackled at the 19. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense in getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 19-yard line, it's second down. Here's the give. Makes it to the 22-yard line. zips it to the back. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. From their own 31-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at the 41. Number 47 on the tackle, the 41-yard line. First down. The ball is loose, scooped up by the defense. That mistake will cost this offense possession of the ball. And this young safety was right there to pick up the fumble. Huge break for the defense. They're set to go for another round. Missouri is up a field goal. Fires out to his receiver. Run down, right around the 30. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. Pick up. 
Takes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. And he gains around three on that keeper. That'll make it second to seven. Kill, kill, kill! Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to come up with a sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball on the 17. Strike to the receiver. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the field. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Mike eight. Mike eight. He's to the 40. He's tackled right around the 46 yard line. First down. Here they come. And down he goes at the 40-yard line. That's a team of 14 yards on the ball. From the 40-yard line. First down. Most of the time, zone coverage will take away the out route. Not that time. First down. He makes it to the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line, second down. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Strike complete. He's down. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And they don't get the first. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin them up and cause the turnover on downs. The defense was able to keep them out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense did pick up three. Missouri with a six-point lead. And he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He's on the run. Dives for extra yardage. He 
scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Tigers lead 13-7. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Steal that! Steal that! Steal that! Here we go! Here we go! Dead! Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gaining four yards. Come on, baby. That'll make it third. What you got? Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Hey, kill! And some daylight. Tackle at the 40. So the ground game picks up another first down. Well, this really works on a defensive psyche. You can see the guys on defense right now are just trying to catch their win. Once again, they had a chance to bring this drive to a halt, but were unable to do it. The offense really seems to be clicking right now. Missouri is up by six. He has some room. Gets out to around the 22. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. So the halfback gets only two on the draw play. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Check 26. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. This is the 11th play of this drive. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 12-yard line. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. Go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He gets rid of this one, and this one could be on the defense. Pass interference, offense. That penalty will move him back Still a bit. Second. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Now it's second and long after the penalty. Scrambling around. The 10. And they make the stop around the seven yard line. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Less than three minutes in the game. He's got it for two. 13 play, 76 yard drive. And they get eight points after that two point conversion. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize the defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw. Tackle made right around the 38-yard line. 
Number 28 makes the set at the 38 yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He wants it all going long. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Makes the first down catch. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. That's a deep play. First down. He's going to air it long. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 74-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. So our score, 21-14. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Gets rid of it. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Got a man in and out of his hands. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. I'm coming. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Red two. Boy, this quarterback just continues to struggle. That was a pivotal down. On third down, they're trying to find a way to get a first down. Another incompletion, and now it's fourth down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Vanderbilt staff know that they've got a guy in a crucial situation that can maybe make the difference in the ball game, but you can't just rely on him alone. Yeah, you got a real difference maker lined up on the outside. The defense knows that. You know they're going to tilt their defense, the secondary especially, towards him. It's going to open up some opportunities for other wide receivers and maybe even running backs out of the backfield to be able to make plays. He's under some heat, and they got him. And he throws it away. Third down and a mile. And this is going to be hard to convert here. Three down, three down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. They'll bring him down right around the 26-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. Well, you can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that will lead to the victory. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Gets out to around the six. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. And they got him for a loss. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. They go with the run. Gets to about the eight-yard line. A good tackling safety is key for any defense. And if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. Here we go, here we go. 
Feeds it to the back. Touchdown, Mizzou. They didn't snap the ball in time. Delay of game, offense. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And he adds the extra point. Kick, plenty of distance. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Well, we're under two minutes to go in this game, and this offense is down by two possessions. The defense knows that if they can come up with another stop, this game is over. The defense was able to stop this offense short on fourth down last time. Let's see what they do this opportunity. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And that's what happened to this offense the last time they were out. It's not just the quarterback's job to try to get this offense going. I think it starts up front. The veteran offensive line, see what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. Throws complete. He's got room to work. That's a great tackle at the 32. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. He fires left side. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. He's to the 40, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. He goes over 100 yards in receptions. You got to love this quarterback-receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. He's, he's, he's rallying! Rallying! That makes it six and six. And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike, eight. Mike, eight. He's wrapped up for the sack. Going long. Steps out of bounds, and that'll give him a first and goal. Got it. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. Well, this guy is such a big part of this offense. If he doesn't get his numbers, they usually don't have much success moving the football. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Throws, and he's got a man. Touchdown. A huge pass and catch for the touchdown, and now we're down to a one-score game. He makes the PAT. tackle at the 44-yard line. 
The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Missouri up seven points. He'll go down to one knee. The Commodores, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.